how to create a horizontal text reveal effect in DaVinci Resolve 17.4.3. Inside your project's edit window, go to Effects, and underneath Toolbox, select Effects, and go to Find Fusion Composition. Click and drag one of these effect filters to your edit's timeline. Should you wish to change the amount of time that your horizontal text reveal effect takes place on your video, ensure that your Fusion Composition clip is selected, hold in Ctrl and press D, use Command instead of Ctrl if you're a Mac user, and adjust the duration in the box which appears. Here in this case, the total duration of this clip will be 5 seconds. Right click on your new Fusion Composition clip, and go to Open in Fusion page. Inside your Nodes panel, hold in Shift and press Space. Use the search box at the bottom of the Select Tool window to find the Text Plus node. Select this, and go to click on Add. Click on the grey box which appears to the right of your new Text 1 node, and drag your mouse cursor to the yellow arrow alongside Media Out 1 to make a connection, so that your text will appear on screen. With Text 1 selected, Go to Inspector and underneath Text, type in the message that you wish to have displayed on your screen. I will maintain the font colour as white, but will increase the size to 0.25. Back inside your Nodes panel, ensure that your Text node is selected. Hold in Shift and press Space again, and go to find the Rectangle tool. Select and add this. This should be automatically connected to your Text node via the blue Text Effect Mask Effect arrow. With the Rectangle node selected, return to Inspector and underneath Controls, adjust the width and height values so that all the text is contained within the green frame representing your rectangle shape. Ensure that Invert is unticked and Solid is ticked, so that the content of the text layer is only revealed once the rectangle is parallel with this. Increase Soft Edge to 0.05, which will add a blur effect as the letters are revealed. Reduce the center X value until your whole message has disappeared. Here in this case I will set this to 0.0. .0. As we can see on our Fusion timeline, the Fusion Composition clip comprises of 120 frames by default. As identified previously, the total duration for this clip will be 5 seconds, meaning that the frame rate will be 24 frames per second at which the video plays. Let's say I want the whole text to be revealed after 2 seconds of screen time, followed by 1 second where the text remains on screen, and the final transition where the text disappears, commencing after the 3 second mark. Ensure that the frame pointer on your Fusion timeline refers to the initial frame 0. Return to your Inspector window and select the keyframe diamond icon parallel to center X. I will now refer to the frame which appears at the 2 second mark, here in this case it will be 47. Now increase your center X value in Inspector until the rectangle is centralized on your text, so that the whole message is displayed. Here in this case I will apply the default value which was 0.5 once again. Note how the keyframe diamond icon is automatically highlighted in red. To ensure that the whole text remains on screen for another second of screen time, I will advance forward by a further 24 frames and select the keyframe diamond icon next to center X once again. Now go to the final frame on your Fusion timeline as indicated by the second box towards the bottom left corner of the Fusion preview section. Now increase the center X value until just after all of your text is hidden. Since I decreased this value by 0.5 for the start of my animation sequence, I will increase by the same value to ensure that there is consistency in the transition where the text is revealed and that when the text fades away, ensuring a smooth reveal effect running at a consistent speed. The background music in this video is provided by the Proud Channel sponsor Audio, a link to the company's website and another link which will enable you to make a discounted purchase of a lifetime supply of music and sound effects can be found in this video's description box. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.